and Sarah, <laughs> I think we were out. There is no headphones today. I don't know what's going on with those headphones. So. Uh -oh. not working? No, I tried them in, in last meeting and here, but I couldn't talk, so. Oh, man. I mean, you could wear them here and it really wouldn't make all that much of a difference. So. It wouldn't. No, he's talking right now. <laughs> it, it wouldn't. I mean, but this is like all the talking for like the rest of the time that we're on. What is this? Oh, that's the end of it? Okay. This, this um, is it. <laughs> all right, have a good day right now. He's just gonna sit and watch for the rest of the yeah, time. So like, Maybe oh, next week. We, yeah, yeah, we keep him around so he could he can just send us out in the end. The outro is the reason. Yeah. He really does do the outro like every time. He does. That's his thing. Yeah. That's his but thing. he says it like he says it like he's fine. Like Darius, every time you do it, you you sound like you're finding the words, like you're saying them for the first time every well, time. Wow. It's like an <laughs> improv class. Know. That's how he, he doesn't act that much anymore. So like this is how I keep his pro his chops. Oh, like, I don't know. Every Why? every That's week he acts spot. he acts like he likes it's us. A sore spot for me That's too. <laughs> I know he's a, <laughs> he's really good at that. <laughs> yeah, Darius acts like he cares, and Darius acts like he likes <laughs> us. <laughs> one, he acts like what we say is funny. Look at that. He one. he acts like he doesn't hate Beyonce, and that's about it. I don't hate Beyonce. I love her. She's a treasure. Oscar. National treasure. Oscar right there. Sorry, not sorry. Was it like her 40th birthday, like two, three days, mm -hmm. four days ago? Who am I kidding? I love Beyonce. Did you see wow. that all these people made these like messages in the video? Like they're in a dark room and it's like all these superstars talking about how she deserves the best at 40 and she's inspired her life. Like from Oprah to like Chandra Rhymes, I think. Who... Why in a dark room what do you mean in a dark room i don't know it was just like that was like the motif it was like them on camera i think it was like black and white video they probably played it at her birthday party or whatever i don't know but all these people are like you've inspired us you've changed the world you've made our lives better 40 is the new 30 You're you great. made oprah's life it's better. the same old 40 yeah the same old 40 old that's interesting uh... speaking of things that sound <laughs> like they have old names uh -oh. hurricane ida Pummeled the Northeast last week. Pummeled. Ida is an old person name. Let's face yeah, it. it is. Anybody so know is anybody Ruth? under sixty named Ida? Um, we will now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People <laughs> always name their kids after storms after they happen. Like the storm that they were conceived in, or the storm they were born in. Generic. Oh, that is well, a great uh, question. I want to. Uh, if I meet a young Ida. Like, <laughs> I'm going to ask her parents. Like, you might have to ask like 15 years from now. I that's such a, math, creepy, that's like, such, right, a that's such a creepy years. question. That's it. Like, I know. I mean, how can they answer questions? <laughs> like, oh, I know my... your daughter's name is Ida, so. <laughs> right, exactly. So, you want to tell me the story behind that? Um, well, come 2006, there are a lot of Katrinas born. A lot <laughs> of Katrinas. Yeah. That name shot up for like. Half a year. They probably got over. born during Katrina. Like they, you know, yeah, I hope not. they were. It was conceived, conceived during Katrina. Uh oh. What happened? She got offended. I was looking for a young Ida. She, she's looking. For <laughs> Latin she's like, X. I suddenly was coughing up Ida her lungs. Oh, nice. Oh no. Ida X. Ida X. I don't know why I got so mad about that. I don't get mad about a lot of things. I enjoyed I know. it. You it's... need to drink more. I felt like I was, I was like Shane talking about the Mets last week. Oh my God. Oh. Wait, do we want to get into that now? No, but let's go through Ida. Is so hangry. So let's go through Ida. Um, Ida has pummeled the Northeast. Uh, there was a lot of catastrophic flooding across, uh, I want to say Philly, New Jersey, and New York as well. Um, New York and New Jersey. Oh, oh yeah, really? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I always forget them. Uh, Biden has taken this there. as an opportunity <laughs> to warn us about climate change and say that changes are coming. Um, but New York and New Jersey have you see that so passive aggressively? <laughs> wow, it's not coming. I mean, we've known it's been coming, guys. You know, the fact that New York City hasn't been prepared for it. <laughs> like, we had Sandy, you would have thought at some point we would have built some sort of infrastructure or put things in place. So that we can fortify certain things or around the city so that this doesn't happen again but we were just as prepared then 
as we were this time for this nonsense. So how many people? I did see a thing. They were saying that even if they had built the levees between the Far Rockaways and uh, whatever tip that is on Jersey that comes out, that Bloomberg had proposed to stop storm surges that were in the ocean, wouldn't have done shit for this because this came 1,500 miles on land and was still that strong. So unfortunately, uh -huh. even if we had heeded the warnings of what Sandy did technically, still this would have happened. Either. But regardless, infrastructure is fucked and mm -hmm. we can spend that money on war, but we mm -hmm. can't spend it on the fact that in a few years... We, we can't spend it on the fact that uh, several stations have flooded multiple times and have proceeded with yeah, showers coming this. down. There's a, there was a 23rd Street station. So it's funny. Um, I was actually supposed to go into the city to go to Bed Bath & Beyond and like get some stuff. And I decided not to go. Oh. And it was a good thing that I didn't because all of the stations that I would have needed to, to get into were flooded. Mm -hmm. Like one of the walls actually came sliding down I was 28th, of right? The, the subway, so. I think that was crazy. 28th on the one train, right? That is crazy. How did everybody make out? I was I in Chicago. Lost hot water. And I haven't called my Uber because I don't want to bottom it. You still don't have hot water? What? No, I've just been taking very cold showers and it's been I helping me do better at work. What are you, owe rent or something that you don't want to oh. bother him? Well, no, he's like going through like chemotherapy and stuff. I kind of want to just like not bother him. I hope like, that he has a an angel. or somebody to take care of the building for him. Yeah, I'm just waiting until everyone in this apartment gets mad about the cold water. <laughs> My boyfriend still doesn't cats. believe oh, me. You don't, yeah. you don't want to be that person that's like, you know, in between your appointments, you know, fix this. So I'm like, you know, I've just been taking some really cold showers and I've been feeling more awake. And okay. And if you want it, like, something, if you want hot water, you can always boil it. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna swim in some. I'm gonna make a little ramen soup in the tub and just take a little little dive in there. Little I've still water. been showering. I mean, I just it was probably saving water. Seems like lies. One shower a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darius, how did you fare? Sorry, yeah. I derail that. So I had to beat myself because I had to make sure that it was okay to tell the story. Uh oh. Um, uh oh. So, but, well, first off, with Ida, the um, the it, so like ten thirty that night, I like looked out the kitchen window because that's you could see our garage space from there. And at first, I thought I was like, oh, it's it just looks regular. It's just a black top from the the parking lot but but i didn't realize it was just really dirty water <laughs> um mm. and it was up to like you could only see the top third of the garage doors mm. that's how much it had flooded wow um and when i went to go try to you know i was like oh no let me go see i couldn't even get down into the garage space because the stairs and everything had flooded by that point wow so wow. um pretty much all our neighbors cars got flooded our car got flooded um I don't know how many people, because people are still cleaning out to this day. Like there was this guy a couple hours ago, had all his stuff like out and he's trying to go through it to see what can be salvaged, to see, you know, um, see what he has to throw out. Uh, thankfully, we only had the car down in the garage. So while the car is a, a huge loss, we didn't have any other sentimental things down there mm -hmm. um, for storage. Uh, but we were also without hot water until Sunday. Um, and then uh, we were sitting here on Friday and Janine was washing dishes and uh, a glass, like she was washing the glass and the glass broke and it cut her and we had to go to the hospital. Oh she oh. had to get three stitches. Is she okay now? No. <laughs> yeah, she's okay now. Why'd you let her wash dishes? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Wow. Wow. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just such a terrible human being for letting my wife. Wow. Wow. We... I'm sure she would love okay. I'm sure she would love the women of this show. You know what? I don't know if I don't know if women I feel like empowerment. acting like I like any of you right now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> women empowerment, she she can do her own dishes. Just unfortunate that happened. I mean, maybe had a man done it, that wouldn't have happened, of course, but you know, what can you I mean, do? I'm just saying my sink is full of glasses. So, but I missed uh, I missed Thursday and Friday at work. I had to call out of work those days, and then, um, like I said, I had to take her to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, Friday, 
So Saturday, uh, yeah, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wait, days. Darius, do you have two cars? How did you guys get? No, there? we had to take an Uber. Aww. We so we took an Uber first to the urgent care that's around here. There were no doctors at the urgent care. No, no doctors. I guess they were all having storm issues as well, like transportation issues. But we got there, and the reception's like. Oh, you're gonna have to wait because we don't actually have any doctors that can. And I was like, "What?" That's like the, <laughs> that's like the is... point of urgent. Why open? Right. Yeah, why open? So there was um, a hospital not too far away, but I had to take a second Uber <laughs> to the hospital. Oh my goodness! Um, that Where they? I mean, I don't know if there was still like flooding or anything going on around there, but was it more expensive because of the? Oh yeah, they were, because nobody else had cars, and uh, there there are no rentals. Like we still don't have a rental. Um, and Geico still hasn't uh, sent a yeah. claims adjuster out to, to look at the cars. The Gecko Live. They're probably overwhelmed at this point. They are. Um, so it's just, you know, it's, it's annoying, but we're, we're making it. We can, I'm glad make you guys are okay. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. you guys are okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Seriously. They forced you into the office Janine, today? Janine says thank you. Aww. Yeah, I mean, I, could, I probably could have taken off. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't let her ever wash a dish again. Uh, yeah. Time to mute, much. Ashley. <laughs> you don't look crazy. You look beautiful. Don't worry, the background's blurred out anyway. So yeah, we okay. can't see her. We can't see you. There, there you go. go. <laughs> oh. There she is. Hi, Janine. Sorry about your finger or your hand. Uh, I see the okay. little band. Are you okay now, though? No. I'm okay. Back to cooking and cleaning. <laughs> her nails, she still has Good. nail polish. Uh, <laughs> like, why did you do that? This whole yeah, I, didn't, uh, I didn't lift a finger. He did everything. He was perfect. You. <laughs> there you go. Good there job. Go. Good job. Damn it. That's right, Darius. You the man. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Aww, like, all right, you can go okay, now. Later. Love later. On Bye. camera. Bye. <laughs> well, at least look, it wasn't the wedding hand, it's the other hand. You gotta just get more, you gotta get another ring on that hand, and then it'll be protected. <laughs> so, we, if, if you're in New York, guy. this doesn't help Darius, but if you're in New York uh, <laughs> and you need assistance and, and, and money and whatnot for your, your storm damage, you can go to disasterassistance.gov or call 1 800 621 3362. Or uh, what's TTY mean? Does that mean text? Talk to you later. Wait, what? No, uh, touch tone. Yeah, touch it's tone. for uh, hearing impaired, I think. No, it's oh, not for yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, that number is 1-800-462-7585. Or you can just download the FEMA mobile app on all your mobile devices. So if you do need help, you can do that. That's part of the uh, disaster assistance uh, stuff that was passed for New Yorkers. Uh, how do you feel if any of you pay attention? She's probably about two of you. Uh, governor Holcomb did. This is her first test as governor of New York State. How do you all feel he she did as opposed to what uh, Cuomo would have done? Which is probably I know how I day. I know how I feel, but how do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's really the real question. Like the way that you pose that question. Just wonder <laughs> about how you're feeling about that, Shane. I, my first reaction was it was nice to ha not have somebody. I mean, obviously, all the politicians go through the. Roping. We think this one. We think that one. <laughs> we believe in New York. Blah blah blah. We're New York strong. Who cares? But it was nice not to having a governor lecturing and yelling at the people who have been affected by this, and making it about himself. It was nice not having that. That, that was my first Mama reaction. What what do we yell and at? He you? always did. Maybe she's just a loud um, man. The 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 touchy feely stuff I'm not excusing, but he's not she, loud. He's Italian. Yeah, that's exactly what he would say. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what he would say. But do you feel she did a good job, or you just I mean, did she do anything there? particularly special compared to what he probably would have done? Isn't it just all the same old, same old? She worked better with the Blasio on it. it is that a good thing? I mean, oh. it's it's good when your politicians are at least talking to each yeah. other, as opposed right, to yeah. those who always trying to one up each other and piss on each other's territory. 
Because okay. they're all planning on being president. De Blasio, like, you can't declare a state of emergency. I have to do it. Yeah. And then a week later, yeah. he does it. And then like, he does it, right? On, so and then if he gets sla- flack for it, he's like, well, what could I do? De Blasio had already done it. I was watching Spike Lee as a new documentary on HBO Max called Epicenter yeah. New York City, uh, September 11, 2001 to 2021 and a half. That's literally the whole title. Um and they do, there's a whole section. He takes Cuomo to task. Not for any of the stuff that, the groping stuff. So that's something that's in there. But how he made it about himself during, uh, not Katrina, during uh, COVID. And they do interview de Blasio and a number of other New York local politicians about how their interactions with Cuomo w- were through all of COVID. And it's like, granted, it's their side and not his side because he refused to take part. But it's scathing. So, side note. How many parts of yeah. Four parts, but they're two hours. There's two parts per episode. Each episode is two hours. This four episodes. So okay. If I have my, I, I, I've math, been meaning to watch that's it. A lot of hours. I've been meaning to watch it, but it's good. 